Hello, well done everybody. I hope my voice is loud enough. Welcome to this broadcast. Praise the Lord. All right, apologies for the noise in the environment. I have uh, lots of neighbors, so sometimes, you know, their voice is coming, but if my voice is loud enough. All right, quickly, you know my name. I don't need to introduce myself again. Okay, let me say hello, everybody, once again. And welcome to this video. I'm Apostle Costas Friday. All right? Or you can call me Constance Friday. Constant C Friday, okay? And I uh, just want to tell you something. Or well, let me just say, I want to say something. Or well, let me say, I want to teach you something right now. Your ego, that ego of yours, is lying to you. Your ego is telling you a lie. Your ego is lying to you. That's the title of this video. And I'm gonna keep it real. This video may offend a lot of people, but it's true. Now, especially if you're someone who finds yourself in a position of power, there is this tendency for you to to uh, overbloat your ego and make your ego become so big that it begins to block your common sense. Right? I don't even want to talk about what it does to your conscience, but it blocks your common sense. When your ego is over over inflated, it, it gets to a point where the size begins to interfere with the functioning of your common sense. Have you ever asked yourself this question? What if I'm not as smart as I think I am? What if I'm just exaggerating the fact that I'm actually smart? Have you ever asked yourself, what if I'm not as strong as I think I am? What if I'm just over exaggerating the fact that I'm strong? Remember the word, I'm using the word fact here because even a fact is not a truth, it's just a fact. Most of the things we use to teach you religion in the, in the holy books we used to teach you are facts. Amen? They are facts. They are logical facts. That is the truth. It is the spirit that matters more. Okay, let's talk about the word of God now. There are two, two, two areas of the word of God, the logos and the rema. Without the rema, what you just have, without the rema of the Holy Spirit, are you listening? What you just have in that Bible you are carrying up and down are just written words, letters, logic. So what if I'm not as strong as I think I am? Have you ever asked yourself that question? What if I'm not as uh, smart as I think I am? You feel that you are smart because people say you are smart. People people hail you. People praise you. Or you don't feel like you are smart anymore because people don't tell you you are smart. What if I'm not as smart as I think I am? What if I'm not as strong as I think I am? These are questions you need to ask yourself. And when you ask yourself these questions, you'll find, you, you find out that your ego is most likely larger than it's supposed to be. And the title of this message one more time is your ego is lying to you. Your ego is lying to you. Your ego is lying to you. Like for example, let me use myself for example. Maybe I'm a, a notorious world leader. Or a notorious member of a global world group. And maybe just one particular court that is up everybody's ass in every country. And everyone is allowing them to stick. Okay, let me not describe it that way, okay? <laughs> okay, one particular country that everyone has their tattoo, just, just likes their tattoo. Let's just say a brand, okay? Brand. Maybe everyone likes wearing Versace shirts. Something like that, you know? Everyone likes wearing Versace shirts, Versace shirts, Fendi shirts, Fendi shirts. I'm not, ju I'm not judging you. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1, I'm not judging you. Don't say I'm judging you. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Your ego is lying to you. I don't want to talk about the story of Ahab and Joseph before Ahab went to fight the battle and Joseph, had, Joseph had was with him and what happened then. That is Bible story. I want to face reality here. Maybe you've been going to places and 
and uh, 99 people told you yes one person told you no and to you the 99 people that told you yes are your friends and the one person that told you no is your enemy so that one person that said no becomes a terrorist the one person that said no becomes uh, a criminal the one person that said no to you becomes a terrorist the one person that said no to you becomes a criminal that one person that said no to you becomes someone you drag to the ICC that person that said no to you becomes most wanted just because the person said no and 99 people said yes have you even checked that have you even checked why did this 99 people tell me yes out of the 99 people that told you yes most of them are saying yes just because of what they can get from you not because they think you are right that is the truth not even a fact anymore that's the truth out of those 99 people that told you yes most of them said yes to you because of what they can get from you not because they think you are right not because they think you are smart not because they think you are strong they're just saying yes because of what they can get from you and I'm, as I'm, pre I'm presenting this video right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of those three folks will be waiting for me at the junction to slap me for saying the truth because they'll be like, hey, do you want to expose us? Do you want them to stop feeding us? No, I'm not trying to stop them from feeding you. I'm just trying to let some people know that their ego is lying to them. 99 people tell you yes, one person says no no this is not right something is not right about this that one person that said no becomes an enemy that one person that says no becomes someone you drag to the icc you demonize the person you torment the person you even you even you even torment innocent people who don't even have anything to do with with that one person you begin to suffer them just because of that one person maybe just because they seem to like that one person they begin to make life miserable for them And that night, the 99 people who are telling you yes, you don't know that they're just telling you yes because of what they can get from you. Among them, I'm not saying that there are some that don't love you unconditionally. There may be few that love you unconditionally, but majority are just telling you yes because of what they can get from you. And then you are tormenting one person. Do you know that, that one person that said no told you more truth than the 99 people that told you yes? Look, something not right about this. Something isn't right about this. And you tell the person, okay, get out of here. Walk out of here. Alright, it's enough when you tell the person, okay, walk out of here. Why do you still go outside to meet the person and torment the person? If someone is in my class and I have if I have hundred students in my class as a lecturer, and out of hundred students, one of the students tells me no. The worst thing I can do is just tell the person, okay, walk out of my class. Once the person leaves my class, I have no business with the person again. If I come out of the classroom and I meet the person outside, I'll say, hi, what's up? Hi, how are you? Fine. That's all. I don't need to take what happened in the classroom and I begin to throw it upon the person. That is, that is, that is the outcome of overusing my ego. I would be I would be doing the wrong thing if I'm doing that. These planes that fly up and I hope they don't crash into one of the buildings here one of one of these days. I pray they don't do that in Jesus' name. If you understand, so check yourself before you wreck yourself and ask yourself, am I as strong as I think I am? Am I as uh, smart as I think I am? God bless you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. I will play music in the next video. See you in the next video. Take care.